and greetings friends. Today I want to talk to you about Leviticus the 19th chapter verse 28. Does the Bible condemn tattoos? It says this, you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. And you read of ancient pagan practices where these people as they mourn for the dead would cut themselves all over and you even see it in the Islamic nations today. They would cut themselves in their forehead or whip themselves in the back and they're bleeding profusely because they are mourning for the people that died in jihad and whatever. God says, don't do that. Then it says, nor print any marks upon you. I am the eternal. So here is tattooing. Now, does the Bible condemn tattooing? Now, some people say, well, no, God is saying here, that you shouldn't tattoo mourning for the dead. However, when you look at history, it says here, and this is from the Biblical Archaeology Review, it says this is not to give the impression that tattooing never appears in the ancient Near Eastern texts. It does, just not as a mourning practice. So nowhere do we find in the in ancient Near East people tattooing for the dead. So what is the historical context of this scripture where God says, nor print any marks upon you, I am the eternal. It goes on to say here, in the ancient Near East, tattoos were used to mark slaves. And God says that you're not going to do that in the Israelite community. Of branding people like a horse and claiming ownership of them and they become your slaves forever. God just released Israel from slavery. And now what? God's going to imp implement slavery in the Israelite community? Absolutely not. It'll make God look like a hypocrite. And they mark slaves in Egypt, and God says you're not going to do that in the Israelite community. It goes on to say, often the name of a slave's owner would be tattooed or branded on his hand or forehead. If then if the slave were to run away, he could be easily returned to his master. Thus, tattooing was seen as a sign of ownership. And God says, that's not going to happen in the Israelite community. Uh, there's not going to be any slavery. You're not going to brand people as slaves and claim ownership over them forever. It goes on to say here, tattooing, tattooing an insignia of ownership was perhaps condemned in Leviticus because it reminded them, that's the Israelites, of their past after all. They had just spent the last four centuries as slaves in Egypt, where tattooing was also used as a sign of slavery. God says the Egyptians did it, but you're not going to do it. No longer considered slaves, the Israelites were now prohibited to mark their bodies with permanent signs of servitude to former masters. So, this practice of tattooing, branding someone, and claiming ownership of, of them, and they are your slaves forever, God says, you are not going to do it. So, to, and of course, this is against the will of the slave as well. And God says here, you're not going to practice that in the Israelite community. And so, tattooing, the art of tattooing, and tattooing in and of itself is not the sin. But branding someone with a tattoo and claiming ownership of them is. So it's not the tattoo, it's, the, of, it's what the tattoo is being used for. So tattoos are not condemned in the Bible. And then it goes on to say here that there's actually a positive reference in the Bible to tattoos. In Isaiah the 44th chapter verse 5, it says, This one will say, I am the Lord's. I'm reading this in the more modern English. Another one will be called by the name of Jacob. Yet another one will write on the hand, the Lord's, and adopt the name of Israel. Somebody writes on his hand, the Lord's, that he belongs to God. And he's doing it willingly, not against his will, like uh, the, the pagans did, but willingly. And also says here, by writing God's name on his hand, the Israelite in Isaiah 44 verse 5, was, a, was willingly proposing to become a servant of God. At least in this case, it seems that tattooing was acceptable because the person was marking himself as belonging to the God of Israel. Not the owner, but he was marking himself, willingly saying, I belong to God. So, 
the tattooing is not condemned in the Bible, the tattoo in and of itself. So people put tattooing themselves today is not condemned in the Bible. People tattoo themselves for a variety of different reasons. But branding someone as a slave and claiming ownership of them, that is condemned in the Bible. However, people do take it to the extreme. Now, you see some people, I, I think there's a person called the tattooed man, something like that, where there's not one inch of skin on his body that doesn't have a tattoo. The man has just got tattoos from head to foot. That's just taking it to the extreme. And we at the Church of God have always said, everything in moderation. You want so to say that Leviticus, the 19th chapter, verse 28, condemns tattoos, is just another Bible misconception.